Hey everyone, and welcome to the first video on the Coffee Before Arch channel. So this is also going to be the first video on our uh, C++ Crash Course series. And we're going to start it off by going line by line in our first program together, which will be a simple Hello World program. Now, the C++ language uh, it can be a little tricky sometimes, so in these videos what we're going to try to do is you know, go line by line in a lot of samples of code, write some code together, and you know, try to clear up any you know, maybe tricky parts that are difficult to understand or may not be explained in other material. So we'll start it off by explaining comments. So these first two lines of the program are comments. Comments don't affect anything about the program behavior. They're just there as annotation, and in C++, we use these two slashes, and then everything following those slashes are uh, our comments. So we can write anything on the other side here that it will not affect program behavior. Uh, we ha also have another way to do, you know, kind of block comments. If we want to comment out many things instead of writing a bunch of slashes everywhere, we we'll use this slash star, and then star slash and then everything in between there is commented everything outside is uncommented now the next thing that we have is this include statement now include statements are very simple they say you know find this file in this case io stream and i want you to dump all the contents and put it right here so you're basically copying the entire file and placing it at the top of this file now why is this useful? So in the case of, uh, you know, if, if we want to use a function or we want to use maybe many, many different kinds of functions, maybe we don't want to have a single file that, you know, becomes huge with hundreds or thousands of different definitions. So we'll spread those out to where they make sense. So our functions dealing with input and output, we'll put in a file over here. And in this case, uh, this will be this IO stream file. So this is part of the standard library. The standard library is basically, or the C++ standard library that is, is the core of the C++ language. So, and the IO stream library specifically is for input and output, hence IO. Now, the next part, we have this using namespace STD. Now, as we kind of already said, we're using you know stuff from the standard library so a lot of times we'll also do something like using namespace std so this makes it so that when we use you know functions or things defined by the standard library we don't have to explicitly say that it's from the standard library because in a large program you may have you know many different scopes not everything you want to use is from the standard library but it may have the same name uh, it may make sense for us to for us to write our own definition using, you know, an overloaded name. So, two of the same na same names, two different places. So we separate those or distinguish them by scopes. But if we're only using the standard library, it can be convenient to just do using namespace std for standard. Then we have a main function. The main function is the entry point for every C++ program. Uh, it has a signature of int main or int main int argc char pointer or character pointer arg v with brackets indicating an array. Now, what is this saying? This is just saying, you know, if we want to pass in command line arguments, uh, we have to use this form. So our main function when we actually run a program. Uh, it'll take whatever you pass it from the command line. But in this case, we're just printing out. We're not taking any input. So we can use the other signature, which doesn't have any inputs. And this integer over here, this says this function returns an integer. An integer is just um, a whole number. This is a four byte whole number. And in this case, in main functions, if we do some if we exit successfully we'll generate uh, generally return zero otherwise a lot of times we just do return one if maybe we fail something uh, in our program so 
we're going to use this see out stream object that's defined up here in IO stream. So we'll use this see out stream object and then these two less than signs, which basically say take everything over here, this string, and I want you to push it to the stream object and print it out for me. And then we'll end the line with a semicolon saying that we're done with this line. Move, we can move on to the next statement. Uh, now, if we weren't using this using namespace standard, so we can go ahead and comment it out. We would have to specifically say that we're using the C out object from the uh, from the standard library in that scope. So we would have to use this thing called the scope res. Uh, we'd have to do scope resolution, and we do that by saying std colon colon. Now this says in the scope std short for standard use the C out object, and so both ways are valid. In this case, we'll just leave it as it was just for the sake of clarity. And then we'll return zero. We didn't, we're not checking, you know, any return values of whether anything completed successfully or not. If the program prints it out, it will have implicitly already completed sexually, successfully. And then of course we have another curly bracket, um, this time the right curly bracket to you know, close out our main function. Now we'll go ahead and save this and we'll exit out. And there's our file. Now we need to compile it. Compi uh, compilation is where we take you know, code in a high level language and we turn it into an executable that can be run on this machine. Specifically, we turn it into assembly language, which is the language of the processor. Uh, so to do that, we'll use uh, the compiler G++. We'll say dash O, which says what's our output file name going to be. So we'll just call it hello world. And then after that, we pass all of our input files. In this case, it's just the one, hello world.cpp. We'll press enter. Uh, we didn't get any errors, so no syntax mistakes or other mistakes. And then that green highlighted is our hello world program. If we run it, we get exactly what we want, hello world. So that's going to do it as far as our program goes. Uh, all of this code will be available online at the GitHub page for myself, Nick, or Coffee Before Arch. I'm myself, I'm a PhD student. I work on uh, new microarchitectures for uh, GPUs. And so what I really want to do with this series is you know, make a lot of teaching content for both engineering and programming. So the, this GitHub page right now will have two main topics. It will be this C++ crash course and then some GPU programming for NVIDIA GPUs that uses a language called CUDA, which is an extension of C++. So I hope, I, I hope you guys found this helpful and you know, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more videos on C++ stuff coming up. Thank you.